discussion to discuss the So any of the discussions you can do is that it's Okay, that thing's working. <laughs> Hi, um, everybody. Thank you for coming. Um, my name is Squiggy Rubio. Um, I work for Chapter 3, and I'm going to present on panels everywhere. Um, hey, um, maybe, like, just a show of hands um, before I get started, like, how many people are familiar with panels? Okay. And how many people, how many of you are familiar with um, Drupal and the block system? Okay, most everybody. How many people, how, how many have like dabbled with or used um, panels everywhere? Cool, awesome. Um, so I uh, familiar though, right? Not proficient. What's that? You said familiar though, right? Not proficient. Um, yeah, like if you've looked at it um, or tried it out or any of that, yeah, that's, that's just wondering. Um, so I'm sorry, I'm not very prepared. <laughs> but um, I think hopefully this will be a useful conversation. Um, I've, we've done, at Chapter 3, done like uh, three websites using panels everywhere. And I'm going to try to focus on like when you, like, kind of talk about when like just core uh, Drupal and blocks um, will kind of get you there in terms of your layout needs and when like you might want to use panels and then like when you actually also additionally need panels everywhere um, to accomplish some of the things um, for your layout needs. Um, so yeah. I already said that. Um, so most websites have um, simple layout needs. Um, they use like one or two basic layouts. Um, it might be like a side, uh, you know, a side, left sidebar, right sidebar, or like a three column or whatever. Um, sometimes, you know, this layout is like the same on every page of the whole site. Um, um, some sites like need maybe a different layout for the home page. Those are like examples of uh, sites that have really basic layout needs. And um, like this is an example of of such a site, it, um, and uh, it has like the content area in the middle, um, and then a sidebar here. These are a couple ad spaces, and um, that's Matt Cheney, my boss. <laughs> and um, this kind of layout, um, Drupal Core is pretty good at doing um, pretty easily. A, a themer can implement this. Um, an experienced themer could implement this relatively easily. Um, so, um, but like, um, but like, what if you know you have a a site that has like a lot of different variations of layouts, um, like maybe five different layouts that are used in arbitrary or whatever used in in different sections of your site? Um, then you may, that's kind of when you run into some um, 
kind of run into the limitations of Drupal core. Um, and I can get into that more later. Um, so I kind of want to step back for a second and like look at all look at kind of how we do lay out conceptually for a second, and maybe maybe you all could chime in a little bit here and there to kind of see how we all think about it. Um, but like a lot of layouts are kind of like this. You have stuff put arranged in different places on the page, and um, these are kind of common things like footer, menu, um, content, sidebar, you know, logo. And um, how do we determine what shows up where and when? And, um, and like, another question is, um, is, like, what is content and what is layout? And what is content layout? And what is page layout? And, um, and, and I have a lot of other questions here, but let me skip ahead. Um, so... Um, I guess like content would be like the content and the content layout would be like the things that are changing more regularly. It's different on every page and yeah, um, probably going to be changed more often. Um, so that's content layout. And that would be this area in the middle that I have labeled content. Um, like page layout or site layout would be um, more typically the stuff up here and, the and on the bottom. Like, and those things are things that are like, uh, show up on every page of the site or do not change very often. Um, so um, let me back up to these questions. I th yeah, and so there's like what changes a lot and what, do what um, changes less. And then what, what is everywhere and what is like different on every page. And so um, like, um, so like those are the kind of questions you ask about like how, and, and depending on how, com if there's a lot of variation on your on the, these different layouts, then um, you need a more flexible way to to lay things out. Um, so, um. Excuse me. So okay, so I kind of like talked already a little bit about how you think of um, think of uh, all of this if you're using like blocks in the theme system. Um, but like if if we're gonna, um, but like there's. Uh, Okay, actually, can, can people kind of chime in with, like, limitations of the block system? Like, I mean, um, yeah. Visibility What's that? Visibility setting? Right. Like, if you want one block in different places, on, like, say you have two pages, and on one page you want it on the left column, and on the other page you want it on the right column. Right, so if you want the same block in one region, and then you want it on another page in another region, the block system only lets you uh, use that block once in one region. <laughs> Um, another limitation. Uh, clients being able to edit them, it's not as easy as just going to the edit panel or whatever. Right. So, uh, it, so you you mean you're talk, speaking to if you're already using panels, or oh, I see. So you, the edit tab of a node, right, is what you're speaking to. Yeah. So it's not it's not even too it's not as intuitive and it's separate from the page's content. So right. It's really hard to see like what's active on a certain page, but just like, visualizing the blocks interface. Right. So it's really hard to see like what content is related to a page because you have to go to a separate interface to see what's on this in some of the regions. Um, Being able to specify the content of the block. Being able to change the output of the block. Oh, being able to. to to detect a context and yeah. change the, the content of the block based on that, right? It doesn't have context, which is something panels has. The what is slow? The blog administration. Oh, the blog administ the block administration page loads slow. Oh, okay. And then the client might decide that he wants some content. 
and block content smack in the middle of the content region, and then you have to figure out how to create new regions. Right, like if you want, if you, when the client, yeah, if the client wants the block to be in the content region, yeah, that's, um, or inside of the content, not necessarily the content region, but, right. Um, yeah, so those are all, like, um, a lot of examples of how, like, panels um, becomes really useful in that it lets you put, it lets, gives you a, um, and it edit, it edit interface, it has the drag, drag and drop interface to it, and it shows you everything that's in all the regions and columns, and um, including blocks. And it also, it also lets, it kind of solves most of those problems, or if not all of the problems that were, that were, that you all just named off. Um, and yeah, it lets you like place, uh, block multiple regions as many times as you want to reuse it. And, um, um, yeah, and so at, I guess uh, the next point I was wanting to make was, was to talk about panels itself and like kind of, that kind of gets you a little farther in the direction or that, you know, of a complex like um, content layout um, um, ability. And um, so like what we've been doing at, at chapter three is like using panels to like lay out not just our content but our sidebar too, and it's sort of it's kind of a stretch for panels because like I think it's meant for just con laying out content, not like other elements of your page. You know, not meant for like side site wide elements on your page, right? Um, so, but we have been doing like um, <coughs> layouts that like for example has like a panel layout with just a sidebar and content, and that like lets you know, the client have more control and kind of gives them a little bit more visibility on what's, what's, what's related to their content. And um, so, I don't know, does that kind of make, speak to like how uh, panels kind of help solve some of those problems or may, yes? Is panel a theme or a module? Panels is a module and um, it's a module that it provides layouts and that you get you can um, um, through configuration select layouts and then add stuff to those layouts and it, it pulls stuff from any everywhere in Drupal and, and contributed modules. So would you still need a theme to work with the panels? You don't need a theme to work with panels. Um, so yeah, that, so there's so I'm, I guess I'm comparing three different systems: the block system and theme regions in, in Drupal core. And then, um, then I'm contrasting that with panels, and then I'm going to try to like give examples of when like using panels everywhere is really, um, really handy. So, and, and panels everywhere, just real quickly, it's just like it takes panels and like takes over the whole layout of the whole site, and so your logo and your primary navigation and footer and everything is like in panels in drag, and then you can edit it in the drag and drop interface. So it's like, it's kind of like sets up a, a panel for your whole layout, and then and then you have to add like a nut, you know a regular panel to, for the content layout or for the content. So, um, does does anyone else have any other questions? Um, it, or am I like I'm, is anybody confused? Or did I leave anything out? Yes. Uh, kind of a we have the question about panels everywhere as we as we dive into it, which is uh, I'm hearing from an evangelization point, evangelization point of view. You're saying panels everywhere might be a good option, but what's Drupal Seven going to do with it? Is it something that pretty much is inevitable? Is it something that we should be considering just because it's going to take over the whole thing and replace region, or is it something that's nice to have? How should we look at it? I, I don't know that panels everywhere is going to like take over Drupal 7. Is that what? Yeah. No, it, I don't think it's going to do that, but it, it'll be a, 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 you know, a module that can be added and, and you know, people can optionally decide to use panels everywhere to do their layouts and theme. So it's a judgment call. Yeah. I, I would say that panels, especially panels everywhere, is an alternative way to doing things in Drupal. Because it does a lot of things in a very different way than what 
Drupal does it. <coughs> your, your whole your themes and and your menu systems and everything are going to be handled very differently. It's just a choice. Right. Um. Let me um, kind of let me go through some examples of sites that um, of different layouts, kind of to illustrate stuff a little bit more. Um, and also, let me um, plug my laptop in. We've used it for three sites. Um, and we we like it, and um, I mean for the sites that have more complex kind of layout needs or stuff ch changes in the header and footer a lot between different sections of the site, it's it's really awesome. Um, we use that all, a lot too, and um, let me just show you um, this this. Um, all the thumbnails of the different layouts. Um, these these are the ones in like panels core, and these are like examples of other types of layouts that um, we've added to our own internally added to our um, panels kind of <coughs> con uh, contrib module or not contrib panels custom module. And um, yeah, this these range of, of layouts kind of like covers most of the of the layouts our d designers come up with. I mean. They always surprise us and come up with more, <laughs> but um, but we 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 use these for like content layout, but also sometimes like the layout of like the sidebar and like some site layout too. Uh, um, but yeah, this this is an example of a site that has this area is that. Um, everything below the header and the footer or between the header and the footer is like a panel layout. Um, and it, this site has like, you know, this is, has this one, it has like four different layouts. This is like a right sidebar. This is three column. This is four columns. Um, so that kind of has co more complex layout needs. And it definitely like panels is really helpful in that case. Um, this site, it um, just has one sidebar and we didn't, we used actually used panels for the sidebar, but this could have easily been. I mean, we like panels, so we won't build a site without panels. But this could have like been really easy with just to do theme re regions and blocks because it stays the same on every page, like the the sidebar and the layout and everything's the same. Um, this site um, has like a special home page, and then um, has like. <coughs> Three subsections, and each subsection, the this this page we actually used um, used panels everywhere for this, and each um, sub page has its like own sub menu and own more resources um, menu and block, um, and then so I wish I had colored this to show you, but like the everything up here, like the the header, the the um, radiology and Biomedical imaging logo, the menu, the um, search bar, and this everything in the sidebar, and the footer is like all in panels everywhere, and then everything in the middle is like a custom panel layout um, with like a bunch of different boxes in it. Does the uh, panels everywhere layout? They, how does that change? So it changes. Um, so it changes with um, variants. Um, panels has variants, and so in the in panels everywhere it also has variants, and so you could be like, you know, all pages under um, um, patient care or the path like URL patient care um, get this layout that has this menu in it, um, and so we set up like, you know, set up four variants for the the um, panels everywhere layout. Um, so it's like the home page patient care, the research, and then um, the education sections on the site. And then additionally, we there is um, there is a um, subsection of the site that's a separate site, but we it's not but we just um, 
use panels everywhere to make the theme and the header look different, um, but it was really just the same site under a URL. I, I don't actually, and let me pull it up in a browser to show you. Um, so this um, center at China Basin, like the, it has a completely different menu and has a different, um, different stuff up here. And that was done with a, basically we, we just supported like them having a separate site by creating a different site template or, or panels everywhere variant. Um, so that in that variant, we just changed the menu and the stuff on the right top corner. And it's all the same site, it's just, we kind of made it look different under that URL, just with panels everywhere. Um, Hmm. Um, can that, if the wrapper, the sign bar is a part of the panels everywhere, how easy is it to get at those, those things that are context within the context of the mode that appears within the panels everywhere? Um, so you're asking, like, um, there's a panel layout that pulls up, uh, uh, that kind of just um, presents like a node node content basically, and you're asking, is it is there some way to take that node content in the or panel content that's um, displaying a node and like put it in an area that's diff, um, kind of that panels everywhere is controlling, right? right. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how to do that. It might that might be something that it not. Oh, John is raising his hand. He might have an answer. Um, so panels everywhere. Oh. So if everything in the, uh, the panels everywhere wrapper is the same except for it's in one bar that you want to add when you're on a specific content so do you have you have to create a new variant and then place all those things within that variant? So um, if you if you have like ten different node types and they all have a different block that shows up, you're gonna have ten variants and within that if you place those blocks multiple times. And so if you if you change the layout of something in the header, you would have to go through all the variants and change it through all of them. Unless you uh, Yeah, you would. You yeah. could also use unless you use like a mind that. That's gonna be a use of like a common term where you're not just gonna set it up once. Yeah. And you might want to look into like mini panels. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, I, I think I'll just go into a demo of panels everywhere. Um, and uh, actually, d would anybody like me to demo like panels too? Okay. All right. Um, what about blocks? Should I do that too? <laughs> but we've all seen blocks enough then maybe. Yeah, okay. Um, so I'll just, uh, this is a, a sandbox I have. Um, it doesn't have the current panels everywhere, um, but it does have, it, but it has the same, basically same, everything's more or less the same. Um, so, uh, pan so panels um, provides a way to, um, Add layouts. Um, so I guess I'll just add a panel. Um, and uh, also, um, CTOL adds this really handy pages interface, which is actually more useful than when you go to panels. So I'll just start from here. It shows you a list of all the panels created on your site. Um, so I'm just adding a custom page. Is this a just, module? Um, 
So that right now, oh, C tools, it is a separate module and it's de um, panels, it's a dependency or, or panel, it's a dependency of panels. So um, you need to install C tools if you want to use panels as well as panels everywhere. But, it, but it, it, C tools is the module that provides the pages UI, which is really handy. to think of another name here. Um, so once I gave the panel its name, it provides uh, like a selection of layouts. Um, these are all it, um, these are all kind of fixed kind of layouts or not fixed, but they're flexible layouts. Hang on a second. <laughs> all right, these are all they're available and the, and like kind of they sh what they sh are showing is what what they are, except for the flexible layout, you can kind of add other, you can add regions and like it's in create, completely create your own layout through the use UI. Um, so once you select it, it provides this drag and drop interface and um, you can add content to it. Um, I'll add a menu. And as you can see, it lets you drag and drop and move stuff around. Um, I'm just going to add some fake text to one so you can see it. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it, it's basically ad, this is just an administrative interface for like man, like um, pulling in and managing content on a page. Um, so if I and, it, and so if I go and visit the path that I created, it'll you can actually see what it what it's doing or what it's created. Um, yeah, so that's a just basic panels, um, and that and as you can see, that just like. Uh, just added some the, the two column layout and and it just controls the area um, that I'm selecting. It's not controlling like the header or the sidebar or any, anything like that. And in fact, this sidebar here is is um, kind of it. This, these are added through um, a theme region via blocks. Um, so, is there anything else? In, you, yeah. Is there an option to disable that on the custom page? That you Oh, yeah. So if you want to disable these blocks on the side, you don't want you just want your panel to kind of take over the whole content area. Um, you can um, go back and uh, just disable blocks. So um, that setting is under um, under this general area, and there's just a checkbox. And I'll go back to the page, um, and it should have it should, the sidebar should be gone. Um, do you have a question? So you're doing a panel now, not a node, right? This is this is a panel. There's no node content in here. I could create a node and add it to this panel. I could create like a whole bunch of nodes and and like manually add each node to this panel, or I could create a view and add it to this panel. So you could basically add any kind of Stuff from the, anywhere in Drupal. Um, list, yeah. You can add it so that when a node is called, it automatically loads. So it's like every node is called. Yeah, so there, there are variants in, panel, in panels. So, um, like, it was similar to what I was talk, talk, speaking to when I was talking about variants for panels everywhere. And um, actually, <coughs> Yeah, you, so you can, let me back up. Um, I'm not a panels pro, but, but um, there's, uh, there's this node edit or end um, node template. Um, so it basically will like add panel layouts to node types. And um, so I guess, but you have to add a variant to it. Um, so you could add, you could do like a default 
so it applies to every node, or you could just add a selection rule so it only applies to certain content types. So, um, any other questions before I move on? The page, how would how, how, like a regular user edit that, that page? Um, like let me, no. what, yeah, where did the edit button go? <coughs> It's supposed, to, it's supposed to have an edit button. I'm logged in as root. That's mysterious. It's, yeah, the tabs are gone here. I don't know why they're gone. They're normally there. And you should be able to like click edit, and it'll take you to the panel's UI. And, OK, sounds like we can move on. Oh, yeah. But normally, you don't want to give them permissions to edit in panels, because it will confuse them. <laughs> yes. um, so this is just, um, oh, I know why. This, OK, so let's see what panel, what, which theme I'm using. If I switch it back, to, I think if I switch it to Garland, it'll, the, probably the tabs will come back. I was. Um, using Tinsel, which is a trying, which is um, a panel or panels everywhere. It's a ah, excuse me. It's a theme that was um, basically converted Garland so that you could use it with panels everywhere. So yeah, the edit edit buttons are back. Um, so okay, so I'm going to start demoing panels everywhere. Um, so I'm switching the theme back to Tinsel. And um, as you can see, um, you know, nothing, it, you, this, everything kind of looks like Garland still. Um, it's, it's actually still pulling the page TPL file, and ha it has all the Garland markup in it. Um, so everything, you know, looks like Garland. Um, so. At, to switch it to panels everywhere. I, I already have all the modules installed for this, um, but you um, check the panels everywhere site template. Um, and that's that's under a, that's a panel setting. Um, and okay, so I'm gonna step back for one second. Wait. Um, Okay, so what it's doing here is it like it add, it like added the panels everywhere layout and it added and like the pa the page templates file is still there. So I have to disable the page template file um, so that um, so that it doesn't so it's not double. Um, okay, so I have that checked already, and so. This is now. This is just using panels everywhere and um, for the layout, and I can. And so, one thing it does it's, is it, uh, it provides this kind of a quick little setting to um, to provide a sample variant. So, like all the all the things in your layout are like put in the right region, so it looks right with this like with this layout that looks that's. Uh, that is a conversion of um, of Garland. So, um, if I check this, like, it'll put everything in the right place. Um, yeah, like the 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 breadcrumbs are up there. So, um, wait, they're still up there. Okay. Well, anyways, <laughs> um, so now now that the um, now that we have that, I'm, I'm going to go back to the pages um, area. And uh, pan Panels Everywhere provided this site template panel layout, or um, panel, I guess. And um, in there, it, you can actually add variants and, um, and like change the layout of your site. Um, so So, so also like in order for the, the layout to work, you have to you have to actually go into the layout and select the layout that's in your theme um, that's provided for this 
um, that's like actually designed. It's basically a layout that's actually kind of set up and designed to be your whole site layout. It's not just the regular panel kind of markup that we're used to. It has like garland markup in this case. Um, so you, that needs to be selected here, which it already is selected. And then, um, and then here you can see it like the header and navigation and everything is kind of controlled by um, the panels. Like it's all, it's all in the panels and yeah, the main content area is, is here. And um, the funny thing is like it, it, it kind of has like two, every page has two panels. One is for the whole site and one is for the content. And so to edit the content of in, in here, um, which can have its own pan, panel layout in, in addition, um, you have to, um, you, it, you can uh, go back to the pages and, you know, edit those individually here. Um, so if I, if I go back to our test page. So basically the panels everywhere replaced our blocks and pages. Right, right. Um, so my layout's messed up. <laughs> but um, let me, what's that? Actually, um, what this what this theme is doing and what Panels Everywhere is doing is like um, getting rid of um, all the markup in, in in between your body tags in page template in the page template file. So um, it's it's basically like ignoring the page template file in your theme and using one that's in in the Panels Everywhere module that has everything stripped out of it. And yeah, and just sticks a panel. It's you know a panel layout in it. So can you still uh, edit your uh, page templates in um, so so if you want, if you if you want to have a page template file and you want to add like for example, have control over like the body classes on still or like add some stuff to the header of your page template file, then you want to copy the. Um, the stripped down page template file in panels everywhere into your theme, and then you can add variables to your header. Okay. So, so or, panels everywhere would have all those different templates for you. So, yeah. if you wanted theme a uh, content type page uh, template, then you grab a copy of the page template from panels everywhere and bring it to your theme and edit it. Um, same. You you said a content type. Yeah. Um, if you so, um, I don't. If when you're working with a content type, I don't think you will need to do anything with the page template file in this case. You'll if you want to change the whole layout of your site, um, you um, based on the content type, you do that through the panels everywhere um, site variant or site template, and and you can add variants to your site template, which. Um, which is these these are a couple variants and um, I'm just curious why my why my layout was totally messed up. Oh, I see. Okay, so that page I just looked at that was the layout was just totally broken. It was because it was picking up um, this layout here, and if I switch it back to tinsel, it'll it'll be fine, it should be fine. Or wait, I'll have to also move everything to the right region. <laughs> um, yeah, so one thing that um, that's really uh, handy is um, to set up your initial default template that has like all, all your site wide and all the stuff that's going to be on almost every page or on every page and um, and get everything set up in the right place and have the you might want to like remove all the styles from a panel pane too because you don't want like panel pane markup wrapped around your like you know ID header tag you know or your you know your light your your typical layout markup um, and then and then you and then once you have that set up you can go and like clone that and make a copy of it and so you don't have to click around and add those things and remember like what region did was you know does this or that need to go into and you clone it and then you make you know whatever ch minor change you need to make and that kind of that can streamline like creating multiple site like multiple variants of the layout yes so when you have to make 
you know, panel pages that are customized and you can do and stuff. So, but I've never used panel everywhere before. So, if I'm understanding correctly, what it brings to the party is this idea that you can set up these panel essentially layouts at a, t at a high level, and then all the pages can pair that, and then you can customize the variants for different parts of your site if you want to have things be different, slightly different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay. Um. Oh, sure. So this this layout and, and uh, so it came with everywhere. Uh huh. Right. Um, it came the, this layout actually came with the tinsel theme. Tinsel. Yeah. Um, so if you were to uh, post up, you have, you have very variations. Uh -huh. Obviously, with this one, every single right side bar has to use the login and navigation font. So I um, yeah. Uh, Actually, um, yeah, they're both the same right now. Yeah. So, um, let's say you wanted other blocks to show up underneath that. With, with placing a mini panel there and then making variants of that mini panel be a good approach to getting Mm. Um, so th there might be some sections of the site where there would be a, a mini panel and then and then you want to have uh, like change what's in that mini panel depending on what the other the related content is um, that sounds reasonable to me if I don't have not Done that that particular thing. So. What would your approach to be if you had a need for different blocks to display? So on, on some of those types, you want to display the most popular. Mm -hmm. That that sounds reasonable. I think. I mean, I'm not, I don't do like um, heavy development <laughs> where I work. I just I'm mainly a themer. So, um, but we could. Um, but John in the back. He does, he does, and so he could he could volunteer for some questions too. If anybody has more advanced questions like that, um, okay. So I guess the so, so oh. I guess the question was you could stick a panel in any of these things, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you could have a panel that's just like the one that Um, the main page content is basically panels everywhere taking the content variable and sticking it in the middle. And when you're doing a, a regular theme, that's just the content variable in the template page template file. So that's a kind of similar thing. Now, if you wanted uh, other panels to show up there. Um, so the way you do that is um, is when you go to create a, 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 a panel here. Um, I already did it. I created a panel test three, and in that panel, it has its own layout. So that's can you put that in? And and it gets added. Well, see the see like the the site the panels everywhere layout kind of grabs all the content we have. It applies to all, all kind of every page that we create until we tell it otherwise. It works because. Yeah, it kind of sets a default like this. Is, I'm gonna I'm gonna put these things like if we set up a default like like I have in this in this like demo like it's like I'm gonna show these things on every single page and then you can add panels. You know, some of those pages might be panel pages. Some of them might be just plain nodes, or some might be a view or whatever. It's gonna it it's gonna just like be you know be there on all the pages. So so let's, let's do but this. you have this, yeah. a test three panel. Right? Yeah. If you go back to your overall panels everywhere yeah. layout, yeah. Can you put that? Oh, if oh, you put that oh, oh I see. There, put will that. It still have the sidebars. Um, it doesn't provide a way to like like go and grab like a regular panel layout and just add it in here, right in here. I don't think 
So, but you could add a mini panel layout in here. So, um, oh no. Is there um, any other questions about the UI? But I wanted to kind of like look in, look at the theme files real quick. Um, if, this might be a crazy yeah. question, but could you show us from scratch how to make some kind of really goofy layout, like with five columns across, or uh -huh. thing in the corner, or just something not out of the box? Okay. Um, not out of the box or out of the box? Not out of the box. Something completely goofy and maybe useless, but at least we see how to do something. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, let me just just play around with what we have here and just we can sh see two different versions. Um, I don't really have a lot of stuff to draw from this just kind of all default panels options. Um, uh, how about can I can I just put you know show one with all the all the blocks and panes on one side and the other with the, with them on the other side? That's kind of the extent of what I can. What would you normally have to draw them? Oh, you'd have like views, um, cus custom blocks, and, you just kind of put them and I don't know if you'd want to put them every, anywhere in the site template, but you definitely probably want to put them in in like individual page, page like um, panel pages. Okay, so that's test two, and that's test three. Just kind of alternating between right and left sidebar. Um, via the panels everywhere. And so, the, yeah, the, this tinsel theme kind of set it up so that it would make the sidebars like look like in function exactly like in Garland. Um, all right, I, I just want to like take a quick peek inside of, inside of this theme. Um, so this is the tinsel theme and um, it has, this is, like this is like a regular kind of page template file it has like all the a lot of markup in here. It has like markup for the header, um, markup to add the logo in. You know, a, oh okay. Let me change the color. Oops. Is that better? So it has like all of this markup in the page template file, like. Um, it even has like conditional logic to like um, for like the styling and presentation of like the left and right sidebar, and um, and let me compare this to um, the uh, the page sample file in, inside of panels everywhere, um, which basically has nothing in it, but I'll just show it to you <laughs> anyway. Um, it has, it only, in between the body, opening and closing body tag, it just has like the content variable and the closure variable, and that's it. Um, so what it does with all that other stuff that, I, that is on, um, whoa. Okay, what it does with all this other stuff in your page template file is it puts it into panel panes. And for the tinsel theme, it has, um, a, you know, a panel pane for the header, or actually panels everywhere. This is, these are the template files in panels everywhere that we're looking at. And it, it puts those things into, into panel panes, and so it has, like, the header, the messages, and navigation. Um, we, and so the, that, at least... Um, supports the garland, like converting garland, but like other um, themes might need additional um, panel panes added to kind of handle some of this stuff. Um, but basically, basically out of the box, you could create a, t a, a temp, a theme that like just has a panel layout, and then all of this markup here, 
Like, I don't have to worry about any of that markup in my theme initially. I might have to go and change it later, maybe, but, you know, I don't, add, you know, immediately have to, like, come up with this markup and add all the variables in like this um, because it's, it's, a, it's kind of already in this panel pane. And then let me show you the, um, the uh, panel layout inside of the tinsel theme. Um, Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Totally okay, so that, so right now we're looking at the, the tinsel theme again. Yeah. And that has um, well, what are we looking at? Okay, so I was looking at the pa uh, panels everywhere module and that's um, it has it provides some template template files here. No, yeah, yeah, I, I, I understand. Okay. So so you're saying that the page tpl.php that the normal theme uses got replaced by this that has nothing in it. Yeah. And then those smaller panes have the, the actual markups right. that used to be in page TPL yeah. in them, right? Mm -hmm. Now, are these panes, the, the different panes in the panel anywhere, panels in, everywhere, uh, uh, different panes? Yes. Is that what they are? Yeah. Okay, are these also set the sizes and locations of these panes, where do, they, where do you set those? So that's, that's where I was um, going to show you the layout, and that's, that's actually in the theme. Um, so let me switch back to the Tinsel theme. And it, it provides it through a panels plugin, um, and um, that consists of these files. It's, it's, it's the same as like creating any panel layout. There's, there's nothing different except for um, you, you do need to um, declare it in your, in your themes info file, um, which, which you just, um, let's see, where is it? Here it is. Um, so that this line of code like tells your theme to look in this folder for a panel layout. It's like, hey, I have a panel layout. So, um, so now in that folder, these are kind of all the files involved with that and um, just to show you the markup of the layout it gets added here and um, this is just the structural kind of framework of the page it's not it's like the columns basically is, is all that's in here yes Yeah, um, so if you need to have that kind of control to add body classes, then you're going to want to copy the template file from Panels Everywhere into your theme, and then you can still use, do pre-processed stuff there. All right, um, I think that's everything I was going to talk about, um, unless anyone has any other questions. Um, I guess I'll... Um, could you say that one more time? Is the HTML file that get produced with this method is, is smaller or bigger than um, the, the traditional one? It's <coughs> the same amount of HTML, um, but but some of it's like um, put it. It's some of it's it, like it provides some defaults for how to handle um, some of the pieces, like your header markup and and your um, and your messages and, and stuff. It has those. In, t in separate template files. So you, if you need to edit those, you know, you can, and you can copy them into your theme. Um, but but it, doesn't, it doesn't, like, require you to think about how to, like, do the markup and the variables for those for, you know, because which um, for the whole layout, you know, or each time you go to make a layout. Where do you go to change the size of these Um So there's a... So in the this panel layout folder, there's a CSS file. Um, there's also a, a thumbnail, so to give you a preview. Um, and then also, um, I mean, if you're going to copy a panel layout, you'll have to change some of the names in the file, like change the name of name of it here, and you know, as needed. not as needed, but yeah, you'll have to change some of the stuff in that in this file. Okay. Um, 
I guess all the CSS is actually in the theme. It's not in this file. Where do you change the size of those things? Um, in this case, you could put a, put CSS in here to change it, but um, I suspect that that CSS file is like is here or here. It's probably in this file. So you, if you open that file, it says that pane one is this size and pane two is this size. Um, probably, or you, or you could um, just like check in Firebug to see where the CSS is coming from too. Just duplicating uh, the right? Right. So they're just, they're just putting the same CSS to Firebug. Oh yeah. Commons is looking at regions. This thing is not really looking at regions. Yeah, it uses the same markup, but it panelizes it. <laughs> Um, oh, yeah, sure. Um, I, yeah, I don't know where it is. I get, I'm just going to look at Firebug to, to find, find you the CSS. I mean, my, 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 I guess, uh, to start with, uh, I thought the image was a certain layouts. Yeah. I guess the obvious thing is to create your own layout. Yeah, you have to create your own layout yeah, for that. And that's for your, I'm trying to figure mm -hmm. out where it is that you go to Oh yeah, yeah. In in the panels module, it has a bunch of panel layouts. You can copy them from there as well as as examples. All right. Is there another presentation in here? No. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Okay. So thank you very much. Um,